Rambo, Last Blood, once again stars Sylvester Stallone as the title character and is directed by Adrian Grunberg. And in this movie, John Rambo has to save of someone that he really loves and cares about from a group of sex traffickers. That's the plot in a nutshell, spoiler free, and that's all you're getting. Well guys, the fifth and supposable final movie in the Rambo series is finally here. I was really excited to see this movie, even though I'm not a massive fan of the Rambo franchise. I really like the movies perfectly fine, enough to get excited when a new entry um, is going to be released, but I wouldn't call myself a gigantic fan of the series. I actually just watched all the movies for the first time two weeks ago in preparation for this movie. So I just want that to be known that I didn't grow up with these movies, you know, I didn't start watching these movies when I was like 10 or something, and that's what got me into action movies. It's nothing like that. I'm just more of a casual fan of the Rambo series. And I guess I'll give my quick little thoughts on the rest of the Rambo series very quick before I get into this movie. I really love the first Rambo movie. I thought it was a very well-made uh, action movie. Two and three, I didn't really care for all that much. They felt kind of generic 80s action to me. I can watch them fine, but they're nowhere near as good as the first movie. The fourth one, though, I really like the fourth one. I think the fourth one's kind of underrated when it comes to action and the Rambo series. I think critics are a little too hard on it, but it's just my personal opinion. So, going into this movie, I kept my expectations in check. You know, I saw the early reviews, and I just kind of said to myself, okay, so just go into this movie as another Rambo sequel. Don't set up your expectations for this is going to be the best action movie of the year or the best movie of the year in general just keep expectations in check so let's start with the plot of the movie i told you basically what you need to know uh going into the movie and that's pretty much all you should know rambo is trying to protect someone that he loves and cares about when she is kidnapped by sex traffickers and you know rambo does his rambo thing he goes and tries to he, he goes to get her back and to kill all the bad guys it's classic rambo stuff the plot is very small and uh simple i guess i could say simple and small scale and i like that about that you know these action movies nowadays tr always give us convoluted plots and um twists and turns that i guess sometimes aren't really needed when sometimes simple plots are the most effective ones and especially with franchise movies especially with a franchise like rambo that a lot of people love and a lot of people is still going strong decades after the first one came out the plots the, the plots for the sequels don't have to be bigger and you know grander than the previous movies it's okay to be smaller scale with your plot and that's something that i really liked about this one it was easy to follow I wasn't like trying to piece together is there going to be a twist and turn coming from here coming from there is it going to be character revelations no it's simple premise you, it's easy to follow and I think that's honestly a big positive for this movie now let's move on to characters Sylvester Stallone gives I think his best performance as Rambo ever I really really liked him in this movie he he settled down after the fourth movie you know he's living on this ranch you know, the fourth movie, as we all know, ended with Rambo walking down the driveway to the ranch, and that's where this movie takes place. You know, he's settled down, he's tried to move on from the PTSD stuff and, you know, his past and all that stuff. And so there is a sense of him that, um, that stuff is still there, though. You know, that stuff that's bothered him in the past is still there. He's kind of damaged in a way, but he doesn't let it show that all that much. He keeps it inside. And the stuff that he has to go through in this movie is emotional and brutal. And I loved how Sylvester Stallone uh, portrayed Rambo this time. And I, I seriously think it's his best performance as the character. In terms of the other characters, the girl that he has to protect, I thought she did a fine job. There were times where she was a little bit wooden and bland, but she did the job perfectly fine. I didn't have any complaints with her or um, the other character that's living in the ranch with her. Although she, that character doesn't really have much to do, and I think her, she could have been fleshed out a little bit more into the story, but I can understand what they did with her. Now let's get on to the villains, because these villains, a lot of people are saying, aren't really fleshed out all that much, they're kind of one-dimensional, and yeah, they are. For me, they do the job fine, you know, they're the bad guys, they're really in these movies, the bad guys are only just there to be killed by Rambo. 
and it works. It somehow works for this series, and they work in this movie. Would I have liked it if they would have been fleshed out a little bit more and had a little bit more depth to them? Kind of. If they somehow pulled that off, I would have been fine with it, but I didn't have too many complaints about how they the villains were in this movie. They were there to do their job and to get killed by Rambo, and they did that perfectly fine. You know, you're not going to go into a Rambo movie expecting a character study. You're going into a Rambo movie to see Sylvester Stallone brutally murder the bad guys, and you get a lot of that in this movie. Now on to the pros. The violence in this movie is on point, and it's something that fans are going to love about this movie. It is a very, very violent movie. Sometimes a little bit too much, and I can see why critics don't really like that all that much. The main criticism for this movie is that the violence overshadows the whole story. I wouldn't quite agree with that, but of course it's just my opinion, some people might think otherwise. The violence is there because Rambo is probably the most violent action movie series. And with this modern age, with CGI and how practical effects have gone beyond what they were back then, they really deliver on all the brutal violentness. It's so great and I think fans are going to absolutely love it. And I know I already mentioned this, but I'm still going to add it to the pros. I really liked how simple the plot was. I'm not going to get too much into that. I liked how it's easy to follow. I loved Stallone in the movie. He's probably the best part of this movie. And I like the setting. I love the setting where the third act takes place. And I love the Mexico setting in the second, the first and second act. I thought it was all filmed very well, and I really liked the setting. The third act, though, who? That is the best part of the movie. The third act is classic, violent, bloody Rambo, and it delivers on an, on an 11 level. That was hard to say, but I got it out anyway. The third act's the best part of the movie is what I'm trying to say. Now on to the cons, and I would say my biggest issue with the movie is the second act. The second act does slow down a lot. A lot of critics have been saying this, and yeah, they're kind of right. It does slow down to a point, but it kind of needed to. I'm not going to say what happens, but there is something that happens in the beginning of the second act that really needs to be slowed down a little bit, and I guess pacing-wise it just didn't work. I understand why they did it, and it kind of worked, but it could have been, I guess it could have been rewritten just a little bit better so it didn't so slow down, because the first act is very, very strong, and the third act really goes off in a bang, but then there's that second act that just kind of halts a little bit, and it does drag at times, but it kind of needed to. Also, the characters, like I said, the villains and a few of the side characters. There's one character in particular, uh, I'm not going to say who she is, but she's really just there to help Rambo, and that's it. I felt like I feel like she could have been brought into the plot a little bit more or fleshed out with Rambo a little bit more cuz really she's just there to be there. And I guess I guess what I'm trying to say is it could have been worked in a little bit better, but you know, that's what can you do? Like I said, you're not here to have twists and turns like this character is related to this character. It's sometimes you just got to accept what they did and that's I guess what I'm saying with this character. Overall, I really, really enjoyed Rambo Last Blood. It's probably my favorite of these Rambo sequels. It was a really great time. I really liked the violence in it. If, you, if you're okay with the violence in the previous movies, you'll like it in this one. Just don't expect in this movie to be like the Logan of uh, the Rambo movies, because I remember back when this movie, before it was even filmed, um, people who were on set were saying this is like the Logan of Rambo movies, and I can see where they're coming from with it, but I don't really see that in this one. It's a very emotional story, it, the character is at a new emotional level, and it delivers on all that, at least for me it does. I really don't know what critics see in this movie for it to have a 29% on Rotten Tomatoes. It might have gone up a little bit, it's been shifting this whole weekend. But, I'm going to stick out with this one. I don't agree with the critics on this. I had a lot of fun with this movie. I think it's definitely worth seeing on the big screen. And even as a casual Ramboy, Ramboy, Rambo fan, um, it was worth it. And I think hardcore fans are going to like this one too. Rambo Last Blood is a definite Blu-ray purchase for me. I really like this movie, and I would say go see this at, in the, on the big screen. You probably, I wouldn't say you have to rush out and go see it, but I would recommend seeing this one in theaters. It definitely helps with the experience. 
So whatever you guys thought of Rambo Last Blood, let me know in the comment section. And which Rambo sequel is your favorite? Obviously the first one's still the best one, but out of the sequels, which one is your favorite? Whatever your thoughts on it, let me know in the comment section. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, then click right here, and I will see you guys next time.